I asked all four experts how we combat climate change today. The common response is we must move away from fossil fuel consumption as a society. Now, efforts to make this happen in progress already off the coast of Long Island with New York's offshore wind farm development. My colleague Carolyn Gussoff takes us to the first one under construction. I'm Carolyn Gussoff. New York has an ambitious goal to fight climate change. It includes the nation's first major offshore wind farm coming to ocean waters off eastern Long Island by year's end. On a gusty day, Wayne Scott resident Michael Hansen walks the beach, hopeful about his children's future. Knowing that there'll be wind power for their future is what makes me happy. Stretched beneath the sand, 80 feet below him, a new power cable will transmit our energy future. You can feel it on your face right now. We have this renewable resource. Long Island winds, strong and consistent, will power New York's first offshore wind farm. And its first power cable has made landfall. Snaking 60 miles, by year's end, it will connect 12 wind turbines being built 35 miles east of Montauk. Talk, ushering in clean energy to 70,000 homes. It's the biggest dive into offshore wind in the nation, a first of many. Offshore wind is a really time-tested technology at this point. It has a, a well over a 30-year track record. There are uh, over 5,000 turbines spinning around the globe. It's named South Fork, the first of five wind farms in the works, with four to five more to come. New York is pivoting to green energy in a big way, and that takes a big stage. So big, components for the first one are being built in Rhode Island by clean energy developer Orsted Americas and the New England-based utility Eversource. Here in the nation's smallest state with only five offshore turbines, there is experience. Traditional trades have retooled their skills. Concrete, steel, electrical, we're leveraging those core skill sets towards building up this industry. And we know that we need to do it at the speed and scale that climate demands, so there has to be more of this. So we're going to see a tremendous opportunity in a number of jobs. They're churning out energy infrastructure. The brains of the operation, these suspended platforms, will be dropped inside the towering turbines. Steel cages will protect the towers from saltwater corrosion. And these concrete platforms allow access to the turbines. At sea. To give you a sense of scale of these massive wind turbines, I'm standing next to a metal ring that will encircle the base of an 800 foot tower. On top of it, blades the length of a football field. Their renewable power will be transmitted by the cable buried on the ocean floor. We bring it ashore through a process that is called horizontal directional drilling and then pull the cable through. So we don't have to touch the beach. In the final stretch, these massive parts are staged in Rhode Island, ready to be shipped to sea. New York's first five wind farms will power two and a half million homes within five years. Its goal is to produce all electricity with zero emissions by 2040. Right now, uh, Long Island is uh, powered about 80 percent by fossil fuels. Yeah, when we go to 2040, it will be 0%. For New York, offshore wind will probably provide 25% of the state's electricity within the next 10 to 15 years. We already are experiencing the effects of a rising sea level. It, it is irresponsible to do nothing. We are experiencing climate change. It is all around us, and it's all around the world, and it's hitting us in our backyard. New York's backyard, its ocean waters, is poised to become the nation's hub for offshore wind with more projects in the works than any other state.